sight lighting takeoff. Beginning from the takeoff screen in IntelliBid, let's go under the phase dropdown and select sight lighting. We'll then move to the bottom of the screen. That's where we'll find our libraries. The correct assembly library is shown, called Sight and Duct Bank. Keep in mind that everything at the bottom of the screen is selected with a single click. We'll start by single clicking on Sight Lighting and Branch. Next, we'll select Pull Fixture Assembly with No Branch. After that, we'll choose our pull length, and we'll say it's a 20 foot pull and 85 watt. Again, we'll select that with a single click. Next, we will put in a comment, which will make pull lights. Next, we'll say we have a quantity of four pull lights. Then we'll say we have two fixtures per pull, and then click the Enter Prompt button to commit our changes. We then use the red X at the bottom of the screen to close the library windows. If we move to the top of the screen, we can see line one. That line shows the assembly comment we entered earlier, which helps us to better identify this assembly. Line 2 with the red square is the assembly name, and we assigned that earlier when we were at the bottom of the screen. Line 3 lists the actual pull, and we have a quantity of 4. Line 4 lists the shoe box. We need 2 boxes per pull, so we got a total of 8. Line 5 shows the anchor bolt, and we have a quantity of 4 representing a set of 4. Then we see the copper wire, white copper wire, and the ground wire. IntelliBid gives us 23 feet per assembly, so we end up with 92 feet for each line item. Finally, for the red wire nut, we get 6 wire nuts per assembly. We end up with a total of 24. We will now do a second takeoff for good measure. We'll go back to the library at the bottom of the screen, and then choose Sight Lighting and Branch with a single click. This time we will choose Pull Base Assemblies, and then we will choose the Light Pull Base with Concrete under pull bases with a single click. We'll now enter a comment and just put pull bases in that field. For the number of light pulls, we'll add a quantity of four and then click the enter prompt button. Okay, now if we look at line 10, we'll see our comment, pull bases. Line 11 with the red square is the assembly name. Line 12 shows our 24 inch diameter concrete form with a quantity of four. Line 13 for the light pull bases. Again, we get a set of four for those, and I got four of those sets. Line 14 shows the hand finished concrete pull base. We have a quantity of four. Line 15 shows the steel rebar, and IntelliBit is giving me 48 feet per assembly. Then we have the steel tie wire, and we got 192 feet for that. It looks like IntelliBit is giving 11 feet for the assembly. So we get a quantity of 44 feet for the pour concrete, and we have four each. And then for the yards, it's a 0.7 multiplier times four, and that gives us 2.8 yards of concrete. The pre-built site lighting assemblies are fine to use as is in many cases, but they are also easily customizable within IntelliBid to meet many needs. Thanks for watching this Conest tip video. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get more tips and to keep up to date with Kana software systems.